community living is something that's spoken against most of the day. 90% of the people, you know, they're not interested in any type of community living because uh, community living is more of a equality. Um, the, the service that we have today is is set more with inequality. So community living is like, you know, whatever a family may need, uh, they, they have readily available in their community. So if it's uh, doctors, lawyers, um, um, contractors, electricians, plumbers, all these people normally would be in your community and their value will be as good as they product or whatever type of work that they do. Uh, today's society is more of a, a inequality. So when the doctors, uh, lawyers are looked at as a higher level of skill and a plumber and electrician, electrician is a lower level skill. So because of this, everybody seek to, to uh, be at the top. And when that happens, um, there's an inequality. So community living is not a, an attractive way of living especially in, um, in, in the Western society. And really what we mean by community living also is um, basically everyone coming together. Again, everyone bringing their skills. You bring your skill set to the table, and that skill would be shared among the community. Also, any finances, anything that is come in, that comes in, it is shared among the group um, as a whole. So um, whether that is everyone living in one under one roof or in um, different dwellings within the same community, but all those values which we put values on um, each other's skill set and also um, finances all of that is brought together and it's, it is shared collectively among the group and as I said before it's not it's not highly popular because <laughs> because of envy you know everybody want to be above the other yeah so sometimes the only way you can establish it unless you have to get you know, away from everything and just start from the ground up you know and it's it's just like David in the Bible, um, the 500 men that he was over, they were men and dead. And men that was just tired of the way of life. So mm -hmm. they met David out in the wilderness. But at that time, they started from the ground up. And the Lord gave them strength and power to when David became king. They was uh, mighty, mighty. Yeah, officials that had learned in the wilderness what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because they didn't have nothing to lose. Exactly. And nobody else to lean on. So that's exactly. something that's also yes. important um, when you are speaking about living abroad, when you are speaking about, um, you know, leaving the U.S. and coming together. The thing that we have learned um, on our own through experiences that you cannot do it alone. So we have, we tried to do community living uh, when we were in the U.S., in Texas. Um, we lived on a family property, on family land, and um, we tried to do that. We, um, Marcus, uh, invested in um, a well being dug on the land um, for the crops and things like that. And so we, we, we have been trying to do this for some time. This is not just um, something that we just thought of. So um, there are, of course, pros and cons in that. So everyone has to have the same mindset and everyone has to have the same goal. And be willing to be in the uh, sharing mode. So um, when you when you have um, when when you plant many seeds, then your your harvest will be bountiful. If you sow little seeds, then you will have um, um, a, a low um, harvest. So that's what we want to get in the mindset: is that go ahead and just plant those seeds amongst one another, and then you will have the harvest. But if you're trying to do it by yourself, it's almost impossible because you you need resources and you need that community um, togetherness coming together. Because what you lack, you know, your neighbor may have, and so that's how you you know you share in that. And when we were in Botswana, we also tried to um, to do the uh, community or communal living and things like that. And um, again, if you don't come to the table with the same mindset, everyone has the same mindset. And um, of course, when we talk about that trust factor that has to be there. So you have to have that trust knowing that, OK, this is what I want to do. This is what God called me to do. And I'm going to trust that he is going to you know, be the overseer over everything. And um, we can make this happen. But if you're still thinking individually, then it will not happen. And that's the atmosphere. That you're in. Yeah. And we learned that, too, that, you know, certain places you just can't do it. You can't practice it because it, it just no you can't. It's, it's, it's just not required in mm -hmm. that atmosphere. So you have to go somewhere where uh, it, it can it can uh, really feed it. 
So just like in the Bible, it says that don't sow your seeds among thorns. So um, certain certain places, certain things that just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why, uh, you know, all these things got to come into play uh, together to make everything work. Yeah. So um, we just wanted to stop in and just talk with you a little bit today about this topic on community living, because it is um, um, another alternative um, when you are thinking about living abroad, um, because it is, um, and, and depending on where you go, you may um, run into some uh, difficulties or you may be thinking, there may be a hesitation, like, how can I do this? How can I do this alone? Um, but the, just think about that. That is an alternative, um, which is community living, um, people coming together and just uh, bringing all of their resources together to, to make it um, a better outcome for everyone.